while you're here. So we're here to tell people that cub hunting is going on. It's wrong, it's evil, but it's also illegal. And about 10,000 fox cubs are illegally killed by hunters every year. And people are outraged about it, but the problem is very many people don't know about it. So we're here to tell people, we're here to expose some of the hunting industry's dirtiest secrets. We're also going to be talking about how uh, hunts kill thousands of dogs every year, healthy dogs, just because they're a little bit slow, they're middle-aged, or they don't want to hunt. Um, and we need to tell people because the vast majority of people are against hunting, but this government wants to bring it back. So we're here to say that we don't want to see a repeal of the Hunting Act, we want to see the hunting legislation strengthened, we need to see a Recklessness Act so that uh, hunters can't flout the law and say they've accidentally killed a fox and get away with it, and we need to see stiffer sentences for all forms of animal cruelty and abuse. This is it, this will be in the charger. In the sun, <laughs> yeah. Aye? <laughs> don't listen it, yeah. to him, Mr Cameraman. Is it? No, he's actually... What are you doing? Filming. It's video. Filming. It's video, isn't it? Oh, oh we're, we're about to come on, get him back. <laughs> get If Andrea Leadsom wants to bring back hunting and repeal the Hunting Act, it could be one of the biggest political mistakes of her life. A new poll that's just been released today, probably the most comprehensive survey of public attitudes on hunting, shows very clearly that the vast majority of the public are utterly opposed to it. In fact, record numbers of people, including inside the Conservative Party and in her own constituency, don't want to return to hunting. The only people who want to see hunting of wildlife with packs of dogs again are a tiny minority who are hankering for the past and frankly they're living in the past. That's, that's real hard eating. <laughs> I still want to leave is, me. It, is, is she the only one? I even gave them names. They were amazing. And this was Frederica. Born, we thought was Freddie, and we, she just lived her whole life there with umpteen cubs. And I have learned a lot about the morals of foxes, in so much that you have a dog and you put food in front of a dog, it will take it. The fox will have a little bit and leave some for the next fox. I think they have wonderful morals, and um, I'm so opposed to what's happening. Do you want to write what I'm, what's happening? Right, I'm going to have my face. 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 I'm going to
But you know what? They're not the countryside voice anymore. If you look at the poll that the League Against Cruel Sports and congratulations to them for getting out today. Over 74% in that poll of people living in the countryside are against this horrible cruelty as well. This is not about town and city or divide. It's about united care and compassion. Wouldn't you agree? And yes, the darkness, the horrible cruelty of killing fox cubs. It simply wasn't insane enough that we have these people dro running along with their horses, ripping our foxes apart. They get a bit of preparation with their dogs. They blood them. They get them to hate and want to kill by killing cubs. Isn't that absolute insanity? Isn't that the utter cruelty to bring children into this as well? The terrier men who are going around actually blocking badger sets. Our poor badgers are enough threat as it is. Probably 10,000 of them will be killed between now and January in an insane badger call that makes no sense for scientific grounds. It's completely cruel and costing an absolute fortune. Yet these people want to inflict more cruelty on badgers so they can actually kill cubs and foxes. Do you think that's right? No! It's an absolute national disgrace. But I'm really, really pleased that most people in this country know that to be to basically protest against fox cubbing, which most of the public aren't even aware of. This is the dark secret of the fox hunting business, where hounds are basically trained by killing cubs before the actual fox hunting season as it starts. Uh, we've got over 200,000 people signing a petition. We're giving in to Andrea Ledson, the Deputy Secretary today, to say this is disgusting, it's cruel, it should end. The police should enforce the law. Stop cub hunting! Stop cub hunting!